All right, guys, this is going to be my last share video for today. And let me show you before I show you the, the final project. Let me show you everything I use. Um, this is a combination of Anna Griffin. Um, I think the latest purse die set, the auto ship, with also all daily bread. Um, some of her items, um, which I think I'm going to go back to the all daily bread purses um, for now. Um, because I like the side pockets. And I like the, even though you can create your own sides, um, I like a, the bigger purse on the side. So you can put things in there. Um, so I use that. I use different types of yarn. Um, this is my paper pack that I used. Hopefully I'm in the screen and not all over the place and not upside down. Um, I did use um, this paper pack. Um, I used some embossing folders. I used stickers. And these are tags from the paper pack. I use different mediums. Okay, I want to start using different mediums for um, my projects now, just to move it up another notch or two. Um, and these were all purchased from, um, sorry. These are all purchased from Hobby Lobby. That's why I'd love to get those things while they're on sale. This is actually purchased from HSN, and these are okay. I think I purchased a total of six different colors, so I'm not too sure if I'm, I'm gonna get any more. I have to keep on playing around with them. Um, this is an old purchase, I think from last year from Hobby Lobby. I just opened it now and just wanted to see how it would look. And also my last purchase um, from Hobby Lobby, this is one of them too. And I did just threw some of them on here, some of them in here for different projects. Now let me show you what I created. Here's my first purse. And again, it has, if you can just feel it, it has that rough texture because I use um, the medium here. I use this and then I use um, the paint and paint though, I use the so it's, it definitely have different mediums on the, the purse that makes it, that gives you that different feeling. Down, there's the yarn, um, there's the cutouts from the project, I mean, from the paper pad. Those are the little um, embellishments from the little bling pearl things from Hobby Lobby. And even the back and the sides. So this was a different, and the bows I got from, um, I think a D-Stash I purchased. And I bet, so see how I like the purse size to be open. So you can put a journal in here. You can put different things in there. And I put trim at the bottom. So that's my first one. Let me show you my second one. Here's my second one with the little puff sticker. And again, this is my embossing folder. And then I put a nice pink um, polish, get glaze polish on the top. And then I put some more of, I think I used this one. I might have used both this and this just to give it more, more texture on it. I'll see the sides. And I made the outline with the pink, I have so many different colors of those. And even with the ginger man, gingerbread man. And I colored those in. And again, with the yarn on the top. So that's another one. Here's another, same, same technique that I use, different embossing folder. And these came out really nice. I really like adding dimension. I should have did it on the side. Too. but here's the back 
See how you give it that, and it, it's different. And that came out really nice. And here's my purse, my last one. Uh, see how it gives it that shine. And again, same. I might have um, took some markers and outlined them to, to gel paints and just outlined them and just, and I use the pearl embellishments. Now the side is nice. I just filled in the, the circles, some of the circles. Yeah, I filled in all the circles. So I love how this came. And I even did some some coloring at the bottom. So, and that's it. So these were definitely fun to create. And I'm going to make some more. So these are going to be my Christmas project for the fair. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And have a blessed one and stay safe. Bye-bye.